What up, guitar nerds? Um, so, as you read my thing, um, I said I was going to review a phone hot rod. A uh, junior hot rod, I guess they call it. Um, I'll review it later. Uh, you can skip my video if you want. Um, anyway, um, the reason why I wanted to review this was this is my very first recording head I ever used, and I'm actually very happy with it. Besides, we didn't use the right mics, but, um, I mean, that was my fault. But anyway, um, yeah, it's, uh, this is a 5 watt all valve head. Um, I think this one was like 230. Um, the only difference between this one and the Junior is, of course, there's a gain knob and a reverb knob. Like, the Juniors basically have to turn the volume for the gain. Um, this one I wanted to control it because... I wanted the certain volumes for recording and then I also wanted to add the gain because it gives it texture and like it makes it a little bit fatter with your other distortions. Um, but yeah, um, it takes uh, two three tubes, I believe. Um, two 12AX7s and one other one, I don't remember the name. Um, they're not hard to take care of, they're light. Um, I uh, actually, I got this to add my distortions through it and then you can add all your effects and all that too. Uh, great practice, I would say, you know, small gigs. For a 5 watt amp, this thing is very, very loud. Um, I would say you put it up all the way and you want earplugs. Um, it's, it's that loud. Um, so small gigging, um, recording, having fun, jamming, that's perfect. Um, which, I mean, even if you play live, half of them mic their, their amp anyway and then goes through their PA. So, I mean, this thing this thing could play live. Um, if you're thinking about buying this because it comes with reverb, don't buy it because of that. Um, the reverb in this is very, very, very bad. Um, no matter if you turn it halfway or what, the it's a spring reverb unit. Um, you can take it out, but you literally, I think, have to cut this. Um, I tried taking it out, and I couldn't. Um, you'd have to take out the whole entire head. Um, I might be wrong about cutting it, I have no clue, but, um, anyway, it's, it's a great head, um, let's see, the back of it, what I really liked is, it had 4 ohms, 8 ohms, and 16 ohms, for a 5 watt head, you get all the ohms, and you can put whatever which ones together, um, you have a reverb out, free out, I don't know what the hell that means, you have your little vent, or whatever, um, uh, what else, um, I think I'll just get to get a, Previewing it or review, uh, playing it. All right. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm using an ESP EC1000 with EMGs. Um, I can use other guitars, but since this one with EMGs, I guess I don't know. It would bring out the tone better. Um, let's see. All right, I'll try as clean as I can get with the gain all the way off, put it about halfway. Um, the more you put up the gain, the more volume you get. So I know it's on halfway, but it can get a lot louder if you add the gain. Um, anyway, but this is me on the neck. Um, I'll just be playing anything. Um, I'm not trying to be skillful here, but anyway. <laughs> Um, I'll play lightly and then play heavy, just like you know, a real tube amps would work. As to Where you know the game. 
gain comes in at. Uh, a blues amp, this would actually, I mean, I think it would work. I don't play blues that much, but I mean, I bought it for the clean channel, so because I put my distortions to it. Anyway, um, put the volume at halfway and the gain at halfway. Um, this is when it gets, yeah, my neighbors will probably wake up, but um, I'll do it for you guys. Um, Um, you'll get better gain if you turn it up louder, like the volume it is, because you're cranking the tubes. Um, with a 412, I mean, it works really well. Um, anyway. so it adds more texture since it's two different gains um, but this is like my this is my overdrive uh, OD3 boss you know typical overdrive pedal um, this is with the gain all the way on full and then the volume the volume just halfway <laughs> Because you gotta mess with the settings on the pedals, because it's not like there's any settings on the pedals. My delay pedal, that's totally off. Um, but you can see. If you like how I did this, um, please subscribe. Um, I'll be doing more. Um, I also have TSL 100s. I'll I can demo, and I have an Eggnator at my my uh, drummer's house. Um, but yeah, you can go and see my band below if you actually want to see my real talent. If you think I have any. Um, anyway, um, I hope this really helps. If you have any questions, comment below. If you have any negative comments, comment below. I don't really care. Um, anyway, have a great day. Bye.